mahitaji mbalimbali elimu ni mali kila for environment is a culture and education I'm Father Vincent Mukaya. I'm director of Don Bosco Didier Community. We thank God for his blessings and for all that we are able to do. In our community, we have five salutations. We have Father Joachim Sivali, who is the headmaster of the school. Father Kenneth Omondi, who is our administrator. Then we have two brothers and sisters, Brother James Bedit and the brother that we Don Bosco Didier Secondary School is the biggest school in our province. Right now we have 1,140 students and it is great to be in this school. We have students from all over the country, students who are highly gifted, students who excel in the exams in the games, in co-curricular activities. We feel that the spirit of Don Bosco is in this community for our students have that sense of belonging. We have students who are ready to volunteer, who are disciplined, and we thank God for all that. Okay, welcome on Father Kenneth Umondi, SDB. I'm the administrator of Don Bosco the dear school and uh, I'm one year old working as a priest here, one almost one and a half one year and a half months working as a priest and uh, I'm very happy to work here because I see the school need young energetic celebrities like us and the young people around are very happy to see us working together in hand with them. The school as such has a lot of things that I can say about it and more so in the administration sector it entailed involving the use of money, the properties and the facilities that the community and the school have and therefore the administrator makes sure that all the properties of the school and the properties of the community are well taken care of Oh, my name is Father Joachim Sivari, the headmaster of Don Bosco DDS Secondary School. Uh, within a short time that I've been here, I've been able to put myself into a system uh, that included the environment the students are having, but also the entire uh, system for our students' learning process. Uh, talking about the environment, uh, we have a very conducive uh, learning environment uh, which helps the students to be at home as they are preparing themselves to attain what they desire for their lives. Uh, talking about the learning environment, we have a nice pavilion which for me is a living place for our students where they spend most of the time when they're in school that's where they start their day with an assembly, but also they spend time there for different interactions uh, between and among themselves. But also we have classrooms that are well furnished, uh, spacious enough even for the learning process to take place without any problem. But also we have good teachers that are using these facilities to make sure that our kids are getting the best out of them. Uh, besides the learning environment, uh, we have also the library, which is well equipped, and we try our level best to staff it every year. We save a number of books in the new editions, and luckily our young ones, they are very proud of their library and they make the maximum use of it every day. So that thing for us is, is, is something to be proud of. But also we have a computer lab that also adds that value as our kids are learning every day. Hello, 
My name is Lukas Koberg and I'm from Germany and I'm here as a volunteer. My main task is to help learning how to use the computer and do something nice, yes. We emphasize that our young ones, that is they should have basic knowledge of a computer so that when they go out there to the colleges they will not have problem to do their assignments and all this stuff. Uh, we have good shamba, very big shamba, where we are farming rice annually. Uh, we do cultivating maize and sweet potatoes. Uh, you know, our kids like sweet potatoes for breakfast and all these things. So these are the areas that are adding something for the growth and personality of our kids, because they are the ones going out there to farm, and through that they are gaining something for their life. We are talking about integral formation, something that is helping a student to grow not only intellectually but also physically, morally, also. But also, we have uh, some animals around here. We take care of cattle, goats, and uh, pigs, and all these things are helping us uh, to cut down the cost as we are uh, assuring our kids are having a, a balanced diet, middle so having. Yama and all these other stuff. So these are areas that are surrounding us as uh, a la uh, something that's adding value to the growth of our students. Uh, we have very big uh, playground here. Uh, it's bigger enough for the number that we have. The number is bigger, and so we should have enough space for these kids to. Recreate and uh, participate in different uh, sports and activities. Sports activities. Hello, my name is Renata. Uh, I came from the Czech Republic, and I will be stay here for the next ten months, probably. Uh, what, what's my task for here? Um, I will join the students with the games, so I will have. Great time together. Our playgrounds are used for not only for our school kids, our kids, but also for the school nearby schools. Most of the times, our playgrounds are chosen to host the Omiseta or Mitashunta programs eh, from different schools. So we are proud of so we contribute to the well-being of other schools and institutions. Yeah. Along the library in the beautiful computer lab that we have, as I mentioned earlier, the school also is equipped with a, uh, three laboratories. Three that means one is for uh, physics, the other two is for chemistry and biology, uh, respectively. Uh, our students are making, with the help of the teachers, uh, they are getting whatever they desire. <laughs> ni mwalimu mwandamizi wa Taruma katika shule hii ya Dr. Bosco Didia. Shule kama shule inao walimu 44, shule tangu shule yanzishwe hajawahi kupata mwanafunzi aliyepata daraja sufuri au kufeli. Kwa wanafunzi wote mara nyingi wanao kwa ameandikishwa wanakuwa wamefaulu. So Dr. Bosco Didia has a good number of students. Uh, a total of 1,141. Uh, among these students, we have 713 boys and 428 girls. So this is a big number that also needs a very conducive place where they could stay. So in order to facilitate that, uh, the school administration has ensured that these students have nice hostels where they could rest and have uh, their night well spent. As for this, we have three hostels. We have one hostel called Savio, that is Dominic Savio Hostel, but we also have Don Bosco Hostel, and also we have Notre Dame Hostel. The Notre Dame Hostel is for girls and is taken care by the sisters uh, of this Notre Dame congregation.
My name is Sister Mary Christine. I am a sister of Notre Dame and I am the deputy headmistress of Don Bosco Secondary School, Didier. In school, we mainly take care of the girls and as a deputy headmistress, usually I help with the academic matters in preparation of the exams, checking that the teachers prepare their lesson plans and also schemes of work. And I take care of filing the questions for all the exams that are taken, taking place in Don Bosco, Didier. On the side of the hostel, we take care of the girls. Since we Notre Dame sisters collaborate with the Don Bosco, we are given the opportunity and responsibility to take care of the girls who live in Notre Dame hostel. This hostel was started in 1997 after seeing that the girls were really having many challenges in the streets whereby they were living with the other people in the village and it was found out that it was not so safe so we were invited as sisters of Notre Dame to collaborate with the Don Bosco fathers or Salesian fathers to take care of the girls so when we started this hostel we agreed that whoever is the superior of the sisters of Notre Dame will be taking the responsibility of becoming the deputy headmistress in the school and that is continuing till this moment. With all the good things that we are experiencing here, uh, our plan as a school is to make sure that we increase the level of performance in our school. In order to achieve that, we want to emphasize the discipline of the students, the discipline of the teachers, to make sure that through self-discipline and the self-focus, we'll be able to wipe away the Division 4s and the Division 3s in our school. This will help us to not be excellent in school, but also to emerge in the excellence map in the country. Subscribe on YouTube channel. Pia usisahau kubonyeza alama ya kengele ili kuweza kuruhusu notification ya habari zetu katika simu yako au computer yako.